a simple chat robot. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to create a simple chat robot in Python, just like the one that you have seen, uh, but with more, much more functionality. So let's get to it. So the first thing we need to do is to actually install uh, the library that we are going to be using to convert our text into uh, a speech. So to do that, we need simply to open up our Google Chrome and uh, go to pypy.org, this website over here. And in that website, uh, we're going to search for this library, it's pytt 63 So search for this library. So uh, this library is the library that we're going to be using to convert our text into speech since our robot is going to have the capability to talk, to, to talk kind of talk. So uh, now that you have done that, you simply come go over here copy this command and paste it in your terminal and hit enter this will go ahead and install that library for you if you're no uh, if you're on uh, linux or like ubuntu like me you simply say pip3 and then install this this specific library so if you're on uh, ubuntu you can see i've already run that command and I, my requirement is already satisfied so uh, if you're on ubuntu you just write you run this command pip3 install pyttx3 but if you're on windows you simply just have to copy this command and paste in your terminal and hit enter this will go ahead and install uh, the library for you so now that you have done that let's go ahead and actually remove this code and start from fresh so um, our robot is going to have uh, the capability to do this so let me run this for you so that we can see what project you are, what you are going to get at the end of this tutorial. So, uh, for example, when I ask uh, Jarvis, who uh, you? Hello, my name is Jarvis. I'm a simple chat robot. I hope you can hear that. Uh, I will just repeat that again. I will bring my microphone closer. Hello, my name is Jarvis. I'm a simple chat robot. I will ask also Jarvis uh, what is his hobby. I like dancing. And you. I will say cooking. So I'll hit enter. Nice, I like that too. So now you can see that our Jarvis can completely have a conversation. So even if you ask Jarvis what is his gender. I don't have a gender. So I'll just run that again. Jarvis gender. I'm a robot. I don't have a gender. Okay, so that's what you're going to build at the end of this uh, tutorial. So I'll just close up my terminal and I'll all go into our file. I have created a Python file here on my Visual Studio code. So first of all, we need to import the library that you have just installed, uh, X3. So now that you have installed that library, we need to create an instance of that library. So you can just uh, say engine will be equals to pytx3 uh, init. So you to go ahead and actually create an instance of that class for us. So now we can use that uh, instance to convert our text into speech. So I'll just go ahead and show you how to convert text into speech. So you just say say and in here we put input a string uh, and then that string will be converted into a text uh, a speech for us rather. So we also need to add some other function code over here. We have to say run this would this will run and wait. So this will do uh, with uh, the controlling the loops and simply we need to also need to stop our engine at the end of uh, converting our text into speech. So when I run this code right now, let's see what we get. Hello world. So now you can see our program is running fine. It simply just says hello world. So uh, now let's go ahead and actually create our simple chat robot. So to do this, you're going to use a if and else statements. Okay. So we'll leave this code here for now. So we have to use a while a loop since this will be continuous. So while, while true, uh, uh, true we are going to take in a user input this user input is just going to be uh, input if you are familiar with uh, python so input will, and then we'll change that input to lower okay so it will convert all our input into lower case to make sure that uh, our if statements are validate okay so now that you have done that we're going to check if user input is equals to every anything that you want to ask Jarvis. In this case, we'll ask uh, who uh, you. So you can input anything here, and then uh, we need Jarvis to say, "Hello, I am Jarvis. I'm a simple chat robot." So I'll just copy this statement, and then I'll paste it down here. So uh, fix that indentation. So in here, we need to say, "Hello, hello, I'm um, uh, Jarvis. Jarvis, um." A simple chat bot okay chat bot okay 
So now that you have done that, whenever we ask Jarvis, who are you, Jarvis will simply say, uh, uh, hello, I'm Jarvis, I'm a simple chatbot, so we can run this. So first of all, uh, we need to comment out this section of our code, okay, Before, uh, because it's, it's being executed, so we don't want that. So whenever I will say in your hello, who are uh, you? Okay, I hope you heard that. So I'll just repeat again. I'll bring my speakers closer, my microphone closer. So now we can see that Jarvis has that functionality. So uh, let's go ahead and actually delete this code. Okay, now that we have done that, we can also add uh, other functionalities. Okay, so we can say else, else if user input equals to maybe another question that you want to ask Jarvis. Maybe in our case, it to be hobby. Okay, so if you ask Jarvis for his hobby, uh, let's copy this and then we'll paste it in here. So fix that indentation. So if you ask Jarvis his hobby, uh, Jarvis will say, uh, I like dancing. Okay, dancing robot. So uh, let's continue and add more functionality over here. So Jarvis uh, uh, can also ask you, uh, let's say what? Uh, do do you like to do okay so Javis was called do you like to do also we will we'll give the user to, uh, the ability to input something so we'll give the ability the user to input something so the user is going to input something and then you're going to check if the user has inputted something so if the uh, user did input they're simply going to make Javis to say something else so I'll copy this again and I'll paste it over here so fix that indentation so Javis will say uh, um, what Javis will simply say is uh, I I like that that too okay so Javis is to simply say I like that too so we can add uh, include a more if and else condition so you can see uh, already where we are going with this so let's go uh, ahead and add one more L if user user input is equals to gender gender Javis will simply say uh, I'm a simple chat robot I don't have a gender so I will copy this and we'll paste it over here and we'll fix that indentation I'll fix this also so now what Javis will simply say is um, I'm, I'm a simple chat but I don't I do I do not have a gender okay so remove this so now Javis will simply say whenever I ask Javis for his gender Javis will simply say uh, I'm a simple chat but I don't have a gender else if uh, we didn't match any of this we have to say else Javis will simply say I do not understand means that you have imported something that Javis cannot handle so Javis will simply tell you I cannot understand so that's what we need to say in here we'll simply say I I cannot not understand okay so that's what Javis will simply say so whenever I ask Javis or oh, who his gender here who he is to so simply say hello I'm a simple chatbot if that's his hobby I like dancing he will ask you what do you like to do if you input something, you said uh, hello, I ha I like that too. And then uh, if you ask for a gender, I'll tell you I don't have a gender. Else, Javis will tell you I do not understand. So let's go ahead and run our program. So uh, now that uh, we are done, this is the, the, at the end of the code. So what is simply left uh, is us to try it up and test if all our functionality is working. So in here we'll simply ask Javis. Uh, first of all, let's uh, let me close this. Uh, in here, uh, let's ask input uh, something to in tell the user to input something. Okay. So also do the same over here. Uh, also do the same. So in Python you can use double or single quotes. So now let's uh, run our application to see how it works. So you can now you can see that. So I'll just simply ask Javis who. Uh, uh, you 
Okay. I cannot understand. Okay, we get this tells us I he cannot understand. Uh, why did we get that? So we got the spelling wrong, so we're supposed to say who? Uh you okay? Okay, now we can ask Javis a ho B. I like dancing. What do you like to do? So I, I will type in cooking. I like that too. Okay, you can now you can see we can Javis can talk back to us, so if we ask Javis gender. I am simple chatbot. I do not have a gender. So we can also ask uh, something that Javis cannot understand. Uh, so we can just type in here some gibberish. I cannot understand. So now that is uh, uh, our simple chat robot in Python. So guys, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, to share, and to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching.